you have to you pee. LP you Batangas and DLS you Tasma. So both teams are under Pool D who is playing here in the second game. All right, just to uh, stress it further, our match at hand, uh, University of the Philippines Lady Fighting Maroons taking on the DLSU Tasmarinas team. A team composed of a lot of rookies. Uh, only three sophomores. Uh, we'll find out more about those players in just a bit, but let's take a look at the lineup of first-year head coach of UP, uh, Coach Oliver Almadro, the Lady Fighting Maroons. Uh, this is composed mainly of players from Season 85, uh, bolstered, of course, by a bunch of new recruits as well. That's right, so definitely a lot of veterans for this team. And they won their first game via straight sets against LPU Batangas. And like what I mentioned during uh, earlier on, is they had the game yesterday. So their recovery will be uh, very vital coming into this game dahil ang, ang liit lang nung gap. They, they had the game in the afternoon yesterday na medyo late na rin natapos and an early game for today. They beat uh, Lyceum of the University of the Philippines in three straight sets. In the meantime, let's take a look at the LSU Das Marinas. Uh, this team very young. They're coming off a uh, second place finish in Prisa just this year and also a first uh, uh, runner-up finish uh, in NCRAA. Right, and they lost their first game against San Pedro University. That was via straight set. So, kanina, itong uh, UP lineup. Nanalo sila na straight sets and ang Das Marinas naman, nanalo sila na three sets. So, for sure, they will be very eager to get their first win for this conference. Let's turn it over to the Coliseum Barker for the starting lineup. First match, first referee, Jestoni Laba. Uh, second referee, international referee, Herbert Matimatico. Starting players for the University of the Philippines, Lady Maroons. Uh, jersey number three, Nina Ita. Uh, jersey number four, Micaela Maxombol. At number eight, Joan Morales. At number 12, Jewel Encarnacion. At number 16, Stephanie Bustrillo. And at number 26, John Bucklai. Starting libero, Jessia Capistrano. Coaching for the Lady Maroons, Oliver Almadro. Let's go on the starting place for the Lady Patriots. At number two, Jonah Del Rosario. At number three, Shira Palmero. At number six, Francesca Ratual. At number seven, team captain, Maria Sofia Gastilio. At number 11, Janela Sabado. And at number 14, Valerie Coronado. The starting libero at number five, Lera Aure. Coaching for the Lady Patriots. Raymond Ramirez. Good luck to both teams. Second game of day number three of the Challenge Cup. The starting lineup for Coach Oliver Almadro. Yeah. Right there, uh, one of the key players from season 85, of course. That's right. And other players for UP, you have Monares, Mustrillo, Itang, Baclay, Magsumbol, and Capistrano. They're starting libero. Monares is the sister of Julian Monares uh, of FBU. Meantime, he's starting lineup for Coach Raymond Santos of the LSU Das Marinas. 
two sophomores are in the starting lineup, Gaspillo and Ragual, while the third one, Salazar, will be coming off the bench. The rest are all rookies. Oh, wow. A young lineup here for Das Marinas. So this is like a veteran lineup versus uh, young youngsters for DLS Dasma. Magsambol will kick things off. Here in the opening set with a serve for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Off the shoulder of Capistrano, the libero for UP. Here and Carrasson with a standing spike. Castillo sets it. And hit by Coronado for the first point on the set going to DLS Judas Marinas. So far, good defense that we've seen from DLS, DLS Dasma. And a good finish there by Ragual. They're open using the hands of her blockers. Underhand pass to Encarnacion down the line. Chance ball. Itang picks it up. Magsum ball sets it. Nina Itang with the first attack point for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Smart drop ball there by Itang. Kita niya, ang ganda ng pwesto ng blockers ng DLSU Dasma. But dropping that ball on the left side of the wing spiker, ang layo ng libero to get that drop ball. Jewel Encarnacion with the serve. Gaspillo with the up. That attack picked up by Capistrano. And Steph Bustrillo with her first point of the match. Another drop ball behind their blockers. Yung defense pattern itong DLS yung Dasma really waiting for strong attacks. Kaya ang layo nila. No one will um, get those drop balls. So they have to talk to one another on who will get that para makapag-adjust sila sa defense. Two straight points for the Lady Fighting Maroons. That is just outside from Ragual. Francesca Abigail Ragual. Three straight points right now for Bustillo and the Lady Fighting Maroons. What do you expect to see, Maneng, uh, especially with a new coach? Uh, you know, a lot of key players still in the lineup as you see DLS with Marina. But uh, under Coach Almagro, what do you expect to see from this Lady Fighting Maroons? Well, definitely, mas ano sila, um, compared if we talk about Coach Oliver, we know that she is, uh, he is uh, very vocal to his players. Kaya ito naman mga players na dapat maka-adjust sila kagad to, to the new system of Coach Oliver. And so far, we're seeing naman, since the first game, because Coach Oliver was also the coach there for UP Volleyball Club, na talagang ginaguide niya yung mga players niya sa mga set plays and even always reminding them whenever they commit some errors. Speaking of errors, there's a net touch against the Lady Fighting Maroons. And a, after a three-point run by UP, the LSU Desparinas answered with a two-point run to tie the game with three all. What do you like about the LSU Desparinas? They, they have a, a lot of tall players. Right, and actually they're very aggressive right now. Yeah. Mapa defense man or net defense. Serve coming from Valerie Coronado is outside. A uh, bunch of errors they cannot afford to commit. Uh, Coach Santos is upset. Obviously, he knows he's up against a very good team, a UAAP team, and they can't afford to give up points because he knows the Lady Fighting Maroons can get points of, of their own, so no That's need right. to help them out. And also, everyone, uh, all of the teams, na first attack first attack ng team nyo is service. So you have to focus on the serves first, especially if your team already has that momentum. Dahil pag nasa service area ka lang, kalaban mo lang dyan, sarili mo. Polares attacking, but a good defensive play here for ELSU Desmarinas. Off the block, it's outside. And you mentioned how uh, you know offensive-minded ELSU Desmarinas is, mm -hmm. and they're showing it here. Point scored by Sabado. For all, Pamero with a serve. 
Not a good first ball there for Capistrano. Good back set, but better defensive play by UP at the net. A nice push for UP. Free ball here for UP. Ostrillo, that's done, but overpassed. Good coverage for DLSU Desmarinas. Sabado attacking. One-handed dig for Encarnacion. Down the line it goes. And that's going to be a point for Monares. First long rally that we've seen for this game. Credits to the defense from both squads. But that attack from, from Monares down the line, targeting down the line is a really smart move. Dahil ang dami nang nakapuesto sa cross-court attacks nila. Napabasa na nila yung cross court but that down the line hindi ready yung Dasma. Yeah, there's an over reach for number 7 Sofia Gaspillo. Quick two points for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Six serving four opening set. Steph Gustrillo with a nice serve and an ace. First service ace for this game, courtesy of that service from Steph Bustrillo. Take a look at this, a sharp serve. Mababasa mo na yung brand ng bola natin dahil hindi na gumalaw yung bola niya. Steph Bustrillo, part of the lineup of the Lady Fighting Maroon Season 85 along with Encarnacion, Celis, Itang, and Capistrano. Another chance ball for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Magsumbol sets it. Monares is turned away. Magsumbol, this time to Bustrillo. Another great block at the net by Dasmarinas. That's pushed by Magsumbol. Great defense by UP. Another chance to attack for DLSU Dasmarinas. That is oh. going to sail outside for Sabado. May halong giggle doon si Sabado. She was way under the ball for that attack. And because of that, sending UP Deleman to first technical timeout, they're up by four points. Shout out to the 90 viewers. Shout out to you. Don't forget to share broadcasting live or comment exclamation notify. Ang ating top donor nga pala mga boss o mga madam, bacon pa, wala pa. At ating litis donor, bacon pa rin. Ang ating, ating top donor, bacon pa. So gusto ko yung top donor, litis donor. Nasa pin comment po ating Gcash number. Nasa pin comment sa baba. Again. Uh, LPU Batangas, take a look at that score, 25-14, 25-11, 25-17. A very dominating game there by UP Diliman. So they are undefeated in Pool D. UP is, uh, we'll find out today if they remain unscathed in the win-loss column. Uh, just a second. Meanwhile, De La Salle University Desmarinas uh, coming off a loss. No, that... They can't, no, no serve yet. There, no whistle yet, so mm -hmm. they're going to have to redo that. I don't understand why they were serving. Monares was trying to serve when it was Bustillo who served us into the technical timeout, so. Okay, I know. Cannot firm nila with the referees on who will be the server. Oh! Back pass there. It started with a bad first ball that Caspillo wasn't able to save. Yeah, but it's also miscommunication on who will get that third ball. Nagtingin na si Sabado and also Coronado from Dasman. Who will get that? Another serve for Bustrillo. The lead is now five for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Nine for Bustrillo. Back row off speed. The dig. For DLSU Desmarinia, Sabado attacking. And Carnacion with the up. Capistrano chasing it down. Here's Monares with the easy over. Caspillo will set it. The push by Elliptico is turned back. Sabado attacks and scores. Right in between the blockers of UP Deleman. 
That was Magsumbol. Magsumbol. Fly. A uh, good attack there on the open by Sabado. Right in between the both of them. Hit by Bustillo. Doug. By Ragual. Sabado again. Uh, this time outside. sa atake dito si Sabado because we've seen a couple of errors from her and then a couple of good um, attacks naman but medyo hindi pa niya nakukuha yung kanyang laro for this game Joanne Monare serving down the line Sabado picking it up attack from the middle by Del Rosario there is a push by Baclay Sabado with the tip. Ustrillo picking it up. May go to Encarnacion. Lady fighting Maroons will send it outside. Yeah, no block touch there. Much needed point for DLS Dasma. Only four point advantage na lang meron dito ang Diliman. But so far, ang binis ng galaw ng Diliman compared to Dasma. Parang mas aggressive sila the floor yeah. defense. Four point lead for the Lady fighting Maroons. Janela Sabado serving. 6 to 10. Make that 6 to 11. Yan yung mga sayang na nakakuha kayo ng punto. So definitely the momentum is on your side. But bigla kayo magkocommit ng service error. Mabilis makahatak yun sa teammates mo. First time out for Coach Raymond Santos of DLSU Desmarinas. We will listen in. Kahit hindi yan. Okay. Receive tayo. Pag tayo nakareceive, attacking all the race. After coverage, girls, mag-block tayo pag pumasok ang bola. Gagawa tayo ng paraan para natin may inilibad sa kalaban yung bola. Maliwanag, paghanahin natin to. Maliwanag, okay na kakitin yan. Ito, paghanahin natin. Let's stop it, Tiger. Let's go! You heard the instructions of Coach Santos. Only wants to turn this team around after losing in their first game against San Beda, an NCAA team. In Pool D, in their first match here in the Challenge Cup 2023. 11-6 after the service error by Sabado. This is the 19-year-old John Baclay out of Naga College Foundation. Tipped by Dina oh. Itang. No mercy against the smaller setter. She was way above the net. Now take a look at this. Coming off from an overball and Dasma. And she guarded that net well. Talaga, inexpect na niya yung overball na yun. And pinwesto na lang sa drop ball gilid ng kanilang setter. Raguel sends it over underhand. Bustrillo passes. Magsumbol to Itang. Itang starting to get active. Back-to-back -back points for Nina Itang. This will help their squad very well when someone is very aggressive at the net. And I think someone talagang taking charge of the scoring. 13-6 as Quintana checks in for Ragual. Maclay continues to serve. A short serve, sending it to Del Rosario. There's a hit by Coronado and that's a side out for De La Salle Das Marinas. Did you guys play, I mean, when you were back in your day, do you also play, because you mentioned during the first game, you guys um, had pickup games with the College of St. Benil. Do you play pickup games with the LSU Des Marinas? Uh, none that I can remember. Madalas kami with CSB. Magsumbol sets it up. Ustrillo underhand pass. Coach Almado <laughs> didn't like that at all. Coronado. Magsumbol, that was an overpass. Coronado unable to tip it back. Oh, almost a miscue there for DLSU Des Marinas. Magsumbol to Nina Itang. Itang through the block, saved by Coronado. Oh, Quintana got a little hesitant. Almost oh. an error, but speaking of errors, Magsumbol tips it into the net, Coach Oliver Almadro. Yeah, sayang yung opportunity na yun because there were two uh, free balls na napunta yeah. sa UP de Lama na hindi nila na-converted to a point. But on the side naman of Das Marinas, yan yung medyo magiging problema nila because 
parang because of those free balls, nakita mo yung miscommunications nila inside the court na nagtitinginan. Rather than saying mine and taking charge of sending the ball over, tumitingin pa sila sa teammates nila. Bustrillo. Not a good pass. Nina Itan will punish that ball. Medyo dumadami yung overball dito coming from the side of Dasma. And that would be a dangerous situation for them, especially when Itang is in the front row. Six points advantage here for UP Dilaman. Micaela Alexa Magsumbol serving for the UP Lady Fighting Maroons and she gets an ace. Making it a seven point game. Magsumbol, one of the new additions to the varsity team of UP. Whether or not we see her in the uh, lineup in season 86, so it'll be up to coach Oliver Almadro. Magsumbol sets it, Nina Itang. For sure, Nina Itang will still be in this yeah. varsity lineup. <laughs> Everything working well here for the side of UP Dileman. They're up by eight points, sending their team to second technical timeout, 16 to 8. Cup 2023 live in HD and on demand via Pilipinas Live. Enjoy the action anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com. It's day number three of the Challenge Cup 2023, organized, of course, by the Philippine National Volleyball Federation. It has an open type of format where collegiate teams, club teams, and even LGUs can join. As a net touch there, coming from number three, that is Shaira Pamero. Now a nine-point cushion for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Magsumbol continues to serve. Much better pass from Tintana. The running attack is no good for Pamero. Hit the net as well. It didn't go over. Take a look at this. Kaya medyo huminto na rin yung kanyang mga teammates. But if there's no whistle, tuloy-tuloy lang ang laro. But now, substitution from their side. Uh, bringing in Salazar. Let's see. If Margaret Don Salazar can make a difference here in terms of Uh -huh. Of PLSU Desmarinas, Magsumbol, nice serve again. Pamero with the up, Quintana attacking from the back row. Magsumbol sends it to Encarnacion with a kill. What an emphatic kill by Encarnacion in the open. I think what's working well for Diliman right now is the service. They're really forcing some um, un errors on the receive for Desmarinas. Can this not set up the play? Sa gusto mo support natin yung stream, nasa comment section po natin, Gcash number. At baka kayo rin ang maging lahat.
laptop doon or it is doon or na ating stream. Ayun na nga yung sabi ng kanilang coach na si Coach Raymond Santos na kailangan nila muna mag-focus sa first ball. Dahil without first ball, walang set play. Pamero doesn't like it. Just sends it over underhand. Dina Itang with a power push and scores against Quintana who came in late. No stopping the Lady Fighting Maroons right now, no matter the substitutions made by Coach Santos. Speaking of subs, after we see that the push by Nina Itang, new player Ivy Ascaño checking in for DLSU Desmarinas. Coronado oh. finally gets a side out for DLSU Desmarinas. And that was an easy ball actually from from that open attack but yun hala nag-hesitate dito si Bustrillo to get that ball but still a very comfortable lead for their squad with 11 points Margaret Salazar serving nice looking serve magsong ball sets ni niya itang once again that is outside though no touch the first attack fall for ni niya itang who yeah. uh, has been so aggressive and yet uh, has been accurate until the last Attempt. Yeah, actually, medyo nanggigil siya dun dahil nakita niya single block lang in front of her. So this is the first two-point run for the LSU Desmarinas. Salazar with another good serve. Magsumbol to Encarnacion. And that didn't cross the net. Ooh, apparently it did and touched the blockers. So play continues. Coronado with the point. So far, we're seeing the weakness of UP Dileman here. It's how you cover, how they will cover the blockers. Dahil pag tumatal 6, saka may ng blockers nila yung atake ng Dasmarinas. Doon sila nahihirapan kumuha ng mga short ball. Three-point run for the LSU Dasmarinas. It's a nine-point game now. Magsumbol to Bustrillo. Finally puts an end to the serve by Salazar. Yeah, targeting down the line there. Clean attack from Bustrillo. Ang bagal lang ng approach na, pero pag nagka-contact na siya sa bola, ang bigat ng palo niya. Meantime, Encarnacion serving a 10-point lead. Good save. Good save. By Elliptico, chance ball here for UP. Magsumbol. Goes to Bustrillo. And Bustrillo is feeling it back-to-back -back points. Yeah, and actually, is Coronado. Nakakumit na siya sa middle attacker ng UP Diliman. Forgetting na si Bustrillo nasa opposite pa pala. Kaya na late siya for that block to close that down the line. Second straight serve. For Encarnacion, it's outside. That's an easy point for DLSU Desmarinas, but they're down by 10. Valerie Coronado serving 12 to 22. Opening set. Oh. And Coach Santos is telling Coronado just gotta get it in and yeah. you can't afford errors right now UP was was three points away now just two points away from the win substitution here for coach Oliver Almadro as Julia Anika De Leon will check in to replace starting setter uh, Magsumbol Micaela Alexa Magsumbol for UP Nina Itang serving choosing her target Almost getting an ace overpass. Oh! oh, but got a little too excited. That is Joanne Monares hitting it into the net. Yeah, missed time there on that quote and quote regalo from uh, Das Marinas. Kaya nakita mo si Coach Oliver sinesenya sa nalang niya yung kanyang player na instead of spiking it, you can just drop it. Service outside. Uh... Encarnacion let it go service error from Shaira Pamero so the last two points of UP they had didn't even work for it back to back service errors for DLSU Desmarinas and it's 11 set points here for the Lady Fighting Maroons Fighting 
Good pass by Elíptico. Ascaño saves the set point. Yeah, Bus Bustrillo was very far for that covering because she was waiting for the strong attack on the down the line. But if you're looking at the defense pattern of uh, UP Diliman, ang layo nga ng coverage nila sa likod ng kanilang mga blockers. Baklay with a hit, Salazar passes. Ascaño with another tip and Ascaño with another point. Back to back points for Ascaño. Two set points saved for the LSU Desmarinas. And yung mga mahirap kuhanin, yung mga last one na lang ng team mo, pero parang hindi, hindi nyo pa matapos because your opponents as well, ayaw din magpatalo. Dali yun, to Baklay. Baklay is turned away! Wow! What a substitution for Coach Santos putting in Ascaño and breathing some life into the offense and defense of the LSU Desmarinas. Yeah, actually a game changer nga dito si Ascaño dahil yung pagpasok niya, she's really very vocal and helping her teammates to cheer up and to loosen up as well. But Monarez finally puts an end to that mini three-point run of the LSU Desmarinas with a tiny little push to close it out in the opening set. Well, UP Lady Fighting Maroons winning the opening set 25-16 in full control against the LSU Desmarinas. service na nahirapan makareceive dito ang DLSU Dasma. Nakita natin na there were a lot of service aces and also unforced errors on the side of Dasma na hindi na sila nakagawa na set play. Doon nahirapan yung kanilang squad. But nung pumasok na si Ascanio, she was actually a game changer because ang ganda nung pinasok niya na energy with their team with all those um and leadership actually, pati yung pagiging vocal niya inside the court, but it was just too late for their squad. Dahil ang laki na nung lamang ng UP Deleman, and also credit kay Aninia Itam because she was very dominating on that front row whenever she's guarding that net. And we're looking at the numbers for set one. UP dominated the attack department with 13 against 9 ng DLSU Dasma. And then they also had a three service ace and they had less errors for that set. Six errors versus nine ng DLSU Dasma. Though, onti lang yung kanilang service ace, but ang lakas ng service nila. Kaya naman hindi nakakuha ng magandang first ball itong DLSU Dasma. So we'll expect more from that coming from UP Diliman coming into the second set. Big adjustments needed by Coach Raymond Santos for DLSU Desmarinas. Uh, will Ascanio be part of the starting lineup here in set number two? We will find out because like what uh, Maneng mentioned, she was a big factor late in the opening set to save several set points before that finish on the tip by Joan Monaves by UP to win the opening set. Coach Santos pretty busy giving the girls some tips. Meanwhile, UP Lady Fighting Maroons, looking at Danica Senes, was part of the lineup for season 85. Looking good so far in their second game of the Challenge Cup after winning in the opening 
game against Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas. These ladies, uh, in the meantime, coming off a loss against San Beda in their opening game. They are 0-1 in Pool D, while UP is 1-0. Only the top two teams per pool advance to the next stage. So, it is imperative for all teams to win early, win fast, because a couple of mishaps and you're out of the competition. Right, and a total of 16 teams uh, for the women's team, but only 8 teams will make it to the quarterfinals. So we'll see if Coach Raymond will use his starting setters or will change his lineup for the second set. Well, Caspino is still in, his, in the starting lineup, the starting setter. But Ascanio is part of the starting six for DLSU Tasmadinas. Let's see if she can bring that same kind of energy as part of the starting lineup instead of an off-the-bench player. Elliptico did an excellent job defending, taking attacks from the Lady Fighting Maroons. Meantime, Niña Itang, Bustrillo are the same names we saw in Season 85 of the UAAP. Still the same names doing damage for the Lady Fighting Maroons in the opening set of their second game. DF Challenge Cup 2023. Set number two is underway on that serve by... Gaspino and they're on the board first in the second set, Panay. Yeah, that's early service ace for their squad. Malak magandang bawa yun dahil kami yun from the first set. And dami nila service error, especially kung sila yung mahabol ng puntos. That will not help their team, but this time focusing on service, itong uh, si Sofia Gaspino getting the first service ace. Much better pass. Inya Itang with the push, Ninja Itang blocked up top. Oh, an excellent defensive play by Del Rosario. Beg your pardon, Pamero scoring for the LSU Desmarinas. Take a look what happened during that last sequence. One on one, na lang sila ni Itang in the net. So, two straight points to start the second set for the LSU Desmarinas. De Leon will be the starting setter, not Magsumbol for the Lady Fighting Maroons. And that cross-court hit is good for Bustrillo. Actually, Bustrillo and si Itang, silang dalawa yung nakakascore ng madami for UP Diliman since the first set. Nina Itang, eyeing her target once again. Good serve. Caspillo sets it. Ascaño sends it into the net. That was too low. Actually, ang layo ng kanyang approach. But yung contact din ng bola. Ang baba din ang contact niya doon. So after a 2 nothing start for DLSU Desmarinas, UP answers with a two-point run and tie the game. Or ties the game at 2-all. Bad pass by Ascaño. So back-to-back -back errors for Ascaño and UP with a three-point run takes the lead here in set number two. Yan yung nakita natin problema ng DLS yung Dasman yung first set is their first ball. Dahil ang galing mag-service nitong UP Diliman. Sobrang kargado and target. Raquel off the block scores. Francesca Raguay take another look. So DLSU Desmarinas tie it. Three all. Ivy Ascaño serving. Bonares off speed down the line. Dug by Ascaño. Sabado. Got it. A better start here for DLSU Dasma. Everyone was really having fun right now. Dahil every time na nakapunto sila, may kita mo yung celebration nila. But this is um, going to be challenging also for their squad because pag, humi pag may huminto sa kanila, kahit na sa scoring or yung magiging um, vocal lang inside the court, nahawa yung iba nilang teammates eh. 
Good save there for Panero. Back set De Leon. Bustrillo knocks it in. Of course, Bustrillo very efficient when it comes to attacking. Maka open side man yan or opposite. She knows how to use her blockers well. It is a tight start between the two teams. We're tied at four all. Bustrillo with a serve. It is just wide. So, courtesy of that service fault, the LSU Desmarinas is back on top by one. Shaira Pamero serving 5 4, set number two. Good pass. Oh. Baclayo, Baclay is rejected. Monares with a hit. Dug by Gaspillo. Here comes Sabado into the net. It's so nice to see DLS with Asma really enjoying this game. Dahil kanina ng first set, ang tahimik nila eh. Yeah. But coming to the second set, malaking tulong yan. Pag nakita mo everyone enjoying, everyone was laughing and smiling inside the court, nakakataas ng moral yan for your squad. Joan Monares, serving. Team Captain Castillo sets it up. Bad pass. So back-to-back -back points for the Lady Fighting Maroons. And they take the lead. 6-5, set number two. Not a good pass there for Ascanio. Here's Sabado attacking. Good dig for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Caspino with the up. Magual saves it. And an easy over for DLSU Desmarinas. Carnason blocked. Oh. Oh. Nobody getting the second touch. Sayang yun, nalantas ng bola. But everyone was looking at one another and who will get that but usually the libero should be the one getting yeah. that second ball and the libero Bautista got an earful from Coach <laughs> Oliver Almadro and she gets replaced as well as Capistrano the starting libero is back in for UP Caspillo sets nice pass to Del Rosario Del Rosario with a tip on the second attack Baclay sends it over underhand not a good pass for Elliptico, back row, Ragual. Capistano passing. Baclay sends it over. Good save by DLSU Desmarinas. The block goes outside. Last touch by Baclay. Point, DLSU Desmarinas. A closer second set that we're seeing right now. Totally different DLSU Dasma from the first set. And a silent UP Dileman coming into this second set. Coach Oliver Almagro tried to argue for a few seconds <laughs> Uh, sideline judge good save by Elliptico here comes Sabado yes back to back points the LSU yes and they put on a two point lead send us to our first technical timeout here in set number two This is the first game of the LSU Dasma where they lost by straight sets against San Beda University. Meantime, 
Ragual serving with a two-point lead for Gasmarinas. Nice left-handed. Was that a left-handed tip by it was. Jewel, right? Yeah, it was. So that means na it's either na late siya sa approach niya or sobra yung set. But still, it worked dahil nakakuha siya ng puntos from that. Very athletic move for Jewel Encarnacion. There's a hit by the Rosario Encarnacion. This time with the right hand and uh, Andy Dexter's showing us the left and the right. <laughs> Points, two points from her right now. We're tied at eight points. And so far, sobrang aggressive ni Tondi Alessio Dasma when it comes to their attack. Gaspillo sets it up. Sabado through the double block. Wow! What a great set for Janela Sabado. We're seeing a lot of off-the-block attacks from uh, the Alessio Dasma. So that just means na unorganized yung yep. blocking ng UP Deleman. Good serve from Sabado. Niña Itang, nowhere to go. Can you believe it? Was, was that? <laughs> that, that? That's Ascano yeah, for that's, the block. Yeah, she's she's owning it. Yeah. Dahil ang ganda nung bantay na yun sa cross court ni Itang. The set was a bit low actually for Ita and kaya naman na palo na na yun sa kamay ng blockers but the blockers was there first block against Itang and Encarnacion with a, an attack fall and don't look down DNSU Dasmarinas putting on a show here and pulling away that's right two points advantage sorry make that three advantage for DLSU Dasma Kanina palagi si Rejo mahabol sa, lapang ng, ng, sa lamang ng UP Diliman. But this time, they are up. De Leon sets Itang, gets it through, but nice save. Coming from Del Rosario, Ascaño sends oh. it over. A missed time jump for Itang. Del Rosario sends it over. Chance ball for UP De Leon. They go to Encarnacion. Fires one in and finally stops the run of DLSU Desmarinas. Magandang bawi naman yun ni Encarnacion dahil kanina. Actually, a good intention of targeting zone one but it was just too angled. That's why it sailed out. But this time with a strong court, strong cross court attack there from Encarnacion. Meantime, Julia Annika De Leon serving. 9-11. Bad pass there by Elliptico. Chance ball for UP. Itang pushes. Gaspillo will set. Ascanio doesn't like it. Gets blocked up top by Bustrillo. Even though na miss time yung approach ni Ascanio for that open attack, nag-commit pa din si Bustrillo for the block. Timing it well. So getting that block point for their squad. Is one point na lang. Kailangan nilang habulin to tie this set. 10 serving 11. Good pass by Elliptico. Go to Ascaño, Papa Bawian. Oh, Ascaño drills it in against two tall blockers, Bustillo and Itan. No right. problem. And actually, the leading scorer for um, UP Diliman, ito si Itan and Bustillo. Pero grabe yung tapang ito ni Ascaño for that strong court, uh, strong open attack. Here is Jana Del Rosario for TLSU Desmarinas with a serve. Gets an ace. It's a good service ace by Del Rosario. Now, na balik nila yung lamang nila to three points. Pass, De Leon sets it up. Encarnacion hit the tape of the net. Caspillo underhand pass. Back row attack. Oh. Yes! To crawl over the net cord and Del Rosario with a point. This is the biggest lead of De La Salle Das Marinas at four points. That's right. And medyo tahimik na dito ang UP Diliman. And a good sign here for uh, DLSU Dasma because they're very consistent since the start of this set. 
everyone was really enjoying. Take a look at them. All smiles on the green side. No smiles on the white side. Good pass. De Leon. Ustrillo. Knocks it in. Medyo stiff yung galaw nitong UP Diliman coming into the second set if you compare them to the DLSU Dasma. So parang the pressure is on their side right now. Kahit na lamang na, napanalo nila yung first set, pero sila yung umahabol ngayon sa second set. Down by three, Despillo passes, Ascanio, no blockers! Encarnacion with a nice dig. Here comes Monares. Overpass. What a dig for Elliptico. Ragual passes. Chance ball, UP. Hitang. The save by Ragual. Oh, good and effort. That's it. Good effort, though, from their squad. Meron sila never die attitude yep. when it comes to uh, defense. And dami mga open blocks kanina, pero hindi depensa pa ng both squads. A little two point run here for the Lady Fighting Maroons. From down four, they are within two. Gloves serving 14. Gaspillo. Ascanio with a push. Picked up by Bautista. De Leon. Back to Monares. Hits it outside. No block touch there. Easy point for De La Ciudadma. And that stops the two point run of the Lady Fighting Maroons. Team captain. Sofia Gaspillo serving 15 to 12. The LSU Desmarinas losing by nine in the opening set, but in control right now. Itang dug overpassed. Monares picking it up. Here comes Bustrillo. Block. Coverage by De Leon. And the push goes outside for Monares. It's back to a four point lead for the LSU Desmarinas. Second technical timeout on set number two. right now coming from Das Marinas. Gaspillo serving. No change in the lineup yet for Coach Oliver Almado. De Leon is still there serving. Another great dig from Elliptico. Ragual, another underhand pass. So chance ball here. De Leon sets it up. Mustrillo attacking with a push. Elliptico, another dig. Ragual will swing. De Leon chases it down. Chance ball coming. The LSU Desmarinas, Gaspino, they go to Ascanio with a push, blocked up top by Mustrillo. Spectacular defense here by the LSU Desmarinas. Oh! And they find an opening on offense. Can you believe it? I keep on mentioning Ascanio, and a very aggressive inside the court. And when it comes to attack as well, he knows that he's block niya siya sa cross court. But that easy ball, targeting zone one, point. Five points advantage here for the LSU Dasma. Napatawag ng timeout dito si Coach Oliver. Pagbalik na gumulat eh. 
Eh, ganun talaga. You know, sina champa nga lang yung defense at minabalik sa atin ng easy ball. Yung counter attack natin, dispalingado. Yung set, mumubo ka. Yung, yung mga spiker na out of timing. Eh, eh bakit ba minamadali yung sarili niya sa counter attack? Pwesto niyo mabuti eh. Eh, yung bola mo, tamo, 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 tamo ginagawa, nasa lang kalaban mo ha? Sa defensa. Ito yung block ha? Nandito, nandito, tapos nandito nag-aabang sa'yo, ayan, ganyan, nag-aabang sa'yo dito. Eh, ano kung trouble mo dito? Ano kung trouble mo dito? Masam di mo masama eh. Ay, gusto niyo puro malakas kasi eh. Diba? Pakataw, utak, utak tayo. Are you at all surprised, Maneng, about the, how this second set has turned around in favor of the LSU Desmarinas? Well, actually, quite surprising because this is, like what I mentioned, it's a totally different um, DLSU team, DLSU Dasma team that we're seeing inside the court. Though it was the same lineup, but Ascanio was added inside for their squad, but totally a game changer because tingnan mo naman yung intensity na meron ang Lasal Dasma for this second set. And compared to the demeanor of UP Diliman, na sobrang tahimik, and then parang hindi sila masyado nag-uusap. Yung communication nila, hindi ganun ka-intact compared to first set. Finally, a stop on that run by DLSU Desmarinas. Back-to-back points here for UP and Nina Itang with an ace. Also, Nina Itang, one of the better servers for UP Diliman. Medyo nawala yung mga strong serves ng Diliman actually. Comparing it to the first set na forcing the Saldasma to have a problematic first ball. Ang second straight serve. Great pass again by Elliptico. Oh, oh, what a set! And Pamero puts it away. Courtesy of that good first ball from Taneo. Nasakto lang sa setter na si Celis. And leaving their open block middle attacker. Marissa, did you see that moment? What a set by Gaspino to Pamero. Ascanio with a strong serve. But you love the confidence of these the LSU Desmarinas players. Definitely very confident. Na kanina nabanggit natin a bunch of youngsters versus a veteran yeah. team of UP Deleman. But they're not playing like they're a young team. That's true. They get that confidence from their Taft cousins, I'm sure. <laughs> Ornos will check in uh, for UP. Crisha Ornos replacing Bustrino. And also, Magsumbol is back in, taking out De Leon. So the starting setter is back for UP. Sabado, that's picked up by Monares. Magsumbol back to Monares with a tip. One-handed dig, Ragual. Great saves. Elliptico sends it over. Chance ball for UP. Attack is no good. That's a rejection for the LSU Dasmarinas against Ornos. Definitely nag-adjust na sa defense pattern itong the LSU Dasma because UP Diliman scored a lot of points dropping their attack behind their blockers. But ngayon, meron ang mga nakabantay sa likod ng blockers ng Dasma. And it's a full front line as well for the LSU Dasmarinas with Sabado, Ragual, and Del Rosario in front. Uh, service into the net for Pamero. Wasted up. It's not a safe lead, especially if you're going up against UP. It's yeah. just a three-point cushion here for the LSU Desmarinas. UP also with a full front line here. They've got Paklay, Ornos, and Encarnacion. Uh, serving is Monares. Oh. Elliptico diving for it. You love the hustle yeah. of Elliptico. Actually, with the help of the net, getting that service ace from Don Monares. Uh, two points advantage na lang meron dito ang Lasal Dasma. Monares will serve again. That's picked up. Oh, Ascanio! Oh! It shanks off her arm left side. And another ace for Monares. Two-point run for UP. Timeout here for the LSU Desmarillas.
Kung dumidikit sa puntos natin sa kasi kuha ng error natin eh. Kuha rin natin to. Tara! Nothing but facts there for Coach Raymond Santos. A uh, lot of the points picked up by the UP Lady Fighting Maroons in the last few plays were just from errors yeah. by the LSU Desmarinas. What a time to commit some errors dahil ang laki na ng lamang nila yeah. and the momentum was actually on their side. But because of these errors, they're giving a chance to UP Deliman to be more confident, to get more right. points, and to be more aggressive against their squad. Biggest lead. For the LSU Desmarinas with five points. Monares, back-to-back -back aces. Does she have another one? Not anymore. Gaspillo sets it up. They go to the middle. Nice block up top. By UP. Ragual attacking. Got it! That's amazing. You love the fight being shown yeah. here by the LSU Desmarinas. And you mentioned it. They have a never-say-die attitude. And it's showing both on offense and defense. Yes, and may konting push pa kay Coach Raymond Santos coming off from that timeout. Back to a two-point cushion. Oh, another service error. And we go back to what Coach Santos was saying during the timeout. They're only scoring because of our errors. That's right. Dahil ang dami nilang binibigay na errors. Uh, uh, binibigay na three points yep. sa UP Deliman coming off from that service aces. And then nabablock pa sila at the same time. Kaya naman nasayang yung malaking lamang nila kanina. Ngayon inaalagaan na lang nila. is only a one-point lead. A serve by Baclay. There's an attack by Sabado. Salazar is in. The second setter for the LSU Desmarinas. Salazar chases it down. Elliptico will send it over. Baclay, not a good pass there. Underhand set for Magsumbol. Encarnacion, that's picked up by Ascaño. Salazar sends it. To the other side, elliptical with coverage. Sabado attacking. Magsumbol sets it. Encarnacion swings. Rejected. Magsumbol back row. Monares picked up by Salazar. Elliptico is all over the place. Sabado sends it oh. over. Baclay, this is going to be a chance ball for the LSU Desmarinas. Elliptico passes. Salazar and the kill for Del Rosario. That will be a confidence booster for DLS uh, Lasal Dasma because kahit na nagpapamigay siya ng mga free points or free ball to um, UP Diliman na hindi naman na-convert ng Diliman into a point but that time, sa, dahil sa sipag na din ng Lasal Dasma, they got that point and now they're up by two points. Good serve by Sabado. Magsumbol. Encarnacion. Cross court. Elliptico is right there again. The tip! Great job by Del Rosario keeping it alive. Capistrano sends it. Ornos with the attack. Battle at the net. Won by Encarnacion. Rally continues. Encarnacion with the tip. Coverage by Salazar. Elliptico sends it. Oh! Just miscommunication between Sabado and Ascaño. Ano ba sinasabi minsan ng mga coaches? Pag may nakikita kang teammate mo na ma mapupunggo ka, itulak mo na. <laughs> Dahil sayang eh. Alam yeah. nila kung ano yung gagawin nila. They'll just send the ball over. Pero biglang humihinto dahil naiilang ka sa teammate mo. Did you ever do that? Push a teammate away? Yeah, actually. <laughs> uh, a lot of times, pag nagkaka... <laughs> malapit na magkaroon ng collision. <laughs> So De Leon serving the second setter for UP. Down by one, 2021. Good pass by Sabado. Here comes Coronado. Ooh, miss hit. And so now we're tied at 21 points. A five-point lead by DLSU Desmarinas. Yes, you heard me right. DLSU Desmarinas had a five-point lead. It's now gone. And I say that not to take anything away from the LSU Desmarinas. Um, it's just that UP was so much more dominant in the opening by nine. But here, the LSU Desmarinas was in full control up until now. Bautista with a dig. Back row attack oh. is into the net for Monares. And the LSU Desmarinas back on top by one. 
That was actually a tough set because UP Diliman has a full front row with Itang in the front. But the setter decided to set it at the back row. Del Rosario is serving. And for Coach Santos, he's praying this goes in. They've had a lot of service falls here in set number two. Off speed. Coming oh. from Bustrillo is good. Salazar unable to handle the dig. Take a look. It wasn't a hard hit. It wasn't really a hard hit. It was a soft touch. But tumama lang sa kamay ng blockers. Kaya nag-iba yung direction and yung speed ng bola. So we're tied. 22. It is going to go down the wire. Here oh. in the second set. That is outside for Encarnacion asking for a touch. There was no touch. So, the LSU Des Marinas back on top by what? Institution here for Coach Santos. As Ragual and Gaspino return. Uh, it's a full front line here for the LSU Des Marinas. Ragual, Mamero, and Ascanio in front as Gaspino will serve to try and win set number two. Good serve. De Leon will set. Itang is blocked. Good save by Pamero. Capistrano with the up. Monares with the push. Gaspillo getting it. Elliptico with a set. Escaño with a hit. And there's the put away by Pamero. And the LSU Desmarinas with two set points here in the second. Courtesy of that attack of Escaño and a free ball. Final buy out for Coach Oliver Almagro will listen in. to say the least to stay alive here in set number two well definitely and then coming from a timeout medyo critical itong service ni Gaspillo because sometimes yan yung pampapigil momentum ng mga coaches kaya nagka timeout let's see if pressure catches Gaspillo no problem Capistrano with a receive oh Gaspillo oh. doesn't like it chance ball here for the LSU Desmarinas, Ascanio looking to put it away, not just yet. The double block by Bustillo and Itan saves one set point. Get them bawi doni Bustillo from a free ball and committing on that block against Escano. Can naman this time si Coach Raymond ang magtatawag ng timeout. Nasa Santipia. Ito, 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 Wow, wow, ay si Abi, Abi pala, Abi, 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 open, point five si Pogi. Hindi na ako papasok. Hindi. Wow, open ka, open ka, ayaw mo si Chai to malukan. Hi, you can hear Coach Santos. He's so aggressive. Yeah, he is. Okay. But actually, dahil naging aggressive sa atake itong La Soldas, madun siya na kwa na madaming puntos and confidence booster for their squad. That's why they're playing at this level for this second set. But very specific instructions from Coach Raymond. Parang binago niya yung set play nila. Kaya may mga confirmation pa yung ibang mga spikers niya kung anong klaseng approach ang gagawin nila to get this set point. Big serve here for Nina Itan. She's got number one, she's got to get it in first. That's in. Ascanio looking to finish it. Open block. De Leon sets. Bustrillo. Oh, and a 
another set point save. Two set points saved by the lady fighting maroons and we're tied at 24. You can just see the maturity of this UP Diliman squad. Na kahit ang laki ng lamang ng kalaban nila, kumabol sila until this until this latter part of the second set where where they forced a juice. Now we're tied at 24. Very cal very calm yeah. actually. Itang with the serve. Tight set. Like wall. Oh! oh! Wow! From saving two set points, now Yupi is at set point 25-24. No more timeouts remaining for Coach Santos taking a look at the double block against Magual. The Alessio Dasman needs to have a good first ball because Itang is one of the better servers for Yupi Deleman. There's a good pass by Elliptico. Pagual against two blockers. Saves the set point. Amazing composure here yeah. by DLS Das Marinas. Usually, na pressure na yung mga ganitong situations. But if talagang gusto mong manalo, wala nang, wala nang kaba na, na feel and pressure. It's laban na talaga until the end. 25 all. The serve here by Ivy Ascanio. Good pass by Encarnacion. Here comes Monares. Cross court. Picked up by Sabado. Elliptico passes. Chance ball coming to UP. De Leon. Back set. Ustrillo through the double block. Nice save by Sabado. Ragual attacking. Yes! Back to back points for DLSU Das Marinas. And this is set point number three. Good coverage from the side of DLSU Dasma. Pasqual converting that point, Ragual rather, confer, converting that point coming off from a off the block attack. Ivy Ascanio with a serve here. Good pass. De Leon sets it. Oh! Baklay. Elliptico will play center. Ragual looking for the finish. Got it! She got it! Oh, Francesca Ragual getting the last two points of yeah. the LSU Das Marina stunning UP here in set number two. Always using the hands of her blockers. Ragual getting smart with that cross court attack. What a good finish there for the LSU Dasma. Take a look at everyone enjoying that last point. And now we're tied at one set apiece 25 to 16 and 25 to 27. Si Ascano, but a very good uh, team effort for DLS Dasma for closing that set. But uh, if you look at the uh, UP Deleman, they were a bit tight for that second set. No, um, 
para onti lang yung smiles na nakita natin doon and um, not much of a communication actually for their side dominating the attack department with 16 points against 9 and UP Diliman. 3 blocks uh, for each squad but 5 service A's for UP Diliman versus 2 ng Lasal Dasma. Though Lasal had more errors for that set with 8, po uh, eight errors versus 6 ng UP Diliman but na-compensate yun dahil sa dami ng attack points nila for that set. And nakita rin natin yung aggressiveness talaga nila. Not just in the net but also their floor defense. At one point, that Lasal das Marinas had two set points. Yeah. But UP scored three straight to get the set point. But the LSU das Marinas will not be denied and scored the next two points to get the win. And now have tied at one set apiece in their second game of the Challenge Cup. Both of them played one game already. UP is 1-0 coming off a win against LPU Batangas while DLSU Des Marinas coming off a loss against San Beda. Well, definitely, LaSalle would want to get their first win for their confidence. So they must sustain that energy from the second set and that intensity coming into this third set. <laughs> and you look at Raguan. She can't wipe the smile off her face, right? <laughs> definitely. She scored the last two points exactly. for, their, for their team. <laughs> I'd be smiling ear to ear as well if I scored a winning point for the set for my team. Uh, meantime, Magsumbol will be in the starting lineup for UP. Coach Oliver Almadro gambled with the second setter, Teleon, in the starting lineup and didn't pay off. Magsumbol came in late in set number two and it uh, made a difference but not enough for them to bounce back and get the win. Meanwhile, it is the same starting lineup here for Coach Santos with uh, Caspillo, team captain and the starting setter in the lineup along with Sabado, Ragual and Pamero uh, Ascaño also her second set for her starting after coming off the bench in the opening set Luxembourg with a serve. Oh. And gets an ace for UP to start off set number three. Yeah, our early service ace here for Magsumbol. Nabanggit ko rin kanina na medyo nawala yung mga strong serves ng UP Dilema nung second set. And naging maayos yung first ball nitong Lasal Dasma. There's a block against Pamero. Pamero will try again. Goes over the block. Capistrano with the dig. Ustrillo pounds it in. A nice start here for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Up 2 nothing. So far, a good start for UP Deleman. They've got their game faces on here in set number three. That's right. That serve is in. As Elliptico let it go. Elliptico will get a rest. A rare miscue for Elliptico. Aure will check in the second libero for the Las Altas Marinas. Three straight points here for the Lady Fighting Maroons on the serve by oh. Maxim Bola. That was way low. It was low. You really Bola. Ang baba. Kaya naman parang there's nowhere to go. So the first point, the LSU Das Marinas off a service fault coming from Maxim Bola. One serving three. The pass, Magsumbol sets it. Bustrillo knocks it in again. Second straight point for Bustrillo here in set number three. So far, a good start that we're seeing here from UP Diliman. They're the ones taking charge in the scoring department, getting a lot of points from their service A's and also for that attack. Carnachon with a nice serve. Gaspino, a tough set. Ascaño makes something out of it. Bustrillo with a dig. Bustrillo again. And Bustrillo, third straight point 
in the third set. She has three of the four points of UP. Or three of the five points of UP. Four point lead for Encarnacion and UP. Castillo sets it. They go to the middle. Pamelo pounds it in. Whenever they get a good first ball, talking about the Saldasma, the setters should activate their middle attackers right away because for the first two sets, it was mostly their all open hitters and opposite hitters. So with that um, middle block, middle attack activation, they will definitely confuse the blockers of UP Deleman. Bonares mishits and sends it outside. So two straight points for Das Marinas. From down four, they are within two. Ivy Ascanio serving 3-5 in the third set. Good pass, Magsumbol sets it. Here comes oh. Castillo. Wow. Four of the six points of UP from Steph Bustillo. Look at that. Right in between the blockers. Maklai with a serve. Not a good first ball for Sabado. Pagual. One-handed dig for Encarnacion. Ostrillo will send it over underhand. Chance ball. Casmarinas. Sabado. Block. There's a tip by Ostrillo. And she has the hot hand here in set number three. Well, definitely the leading scorer right now. For UP Deleman, ito si Steph Bustrillo. Always committing on that block and guarding that net properly. Two-point run for the Lady Fighting Maroons. Back up by four. Magsumbol to the middle. Nina Itang with a tip. Three-point run. For the Lady Fighting Maroon sends us to our first technical timeout. They're up by 5, 8, 3 here in set number 3. tournament format of the first ever Challenge Cup 2023. That's right, for the women's division, like what we mentioned, there's a total of 16 teams, and the teams will be divided into four pools and four teams per pool. So for the quarter uh, qualification rounds, each team will play three games, and all the top two teams per pool will advance to the quarter final. So that's from 16 teams, naging 8 teams na lang, and you can see on your screens kung paano mag-cross over yung mga uh, teams for the quarterfinals. And the uh, top, four win top 4 winners for the quarterfinals will make it to the semifinal round. There's a block against Pamero. UP complaining. Itang says there wasn't any touch. Magsumbol to Bustrillo. Block! And DLSU Plus Marinas will get the point. The coach Almadro wants uh, to complain about the last sequence. And Carnachon speaking to our first referee, just Tony Dabao. And Dabao telling coach Almadro, I got it. As long as there's no whistle yet from the referee, as much as possible, the player shouldn't stop with the set play. Tuloy-tuloy lang. And bog na magpapa affect yeah. sa mga calls. Magsumbol. Nice set for Itang. Itang puts it away this time. 